half a century, we have believed that there was one species of red pandas. In other words, that the Iluridae were a monospecific family. However, Thomas Oldfield, who first described Styans or the Chinese red panda in the early part of the 20th century, originally considered it to be a separate species to the Himalayan red panda, although he later changed his mind on this issue. Since the late 1970s, most people have considered the Himalayan and Styans red panda to be separate subspecies rather than species. However, this view of red panda taxonomy started to change in 2010 when Colin Groves investigated the taxonomy and phylogeny of red pandas and came to the decision that the two forms of red panda were in fact phylogenetically separate entities, i.e. essentially two separate species. This view was supported by a groundbreaking study by Hu and his team, which caught the attention of the media by determining that there were indeed two species of red panda. A year later, Dalui and team based in India confirmed this finding and even extended the western boundary of Styan's range to the eastern part of Arunachal Pradesh in India. Limited gene flow between the two red panda species over the last five million years, together with the geographic barriers between them, suggest that red pandas have undergone a process of allopatric speciation in which different climate-related selective forces have resulted in different local adaptations. Genetic, genomic, morphological and other differences between the two forms of red panda support the view that Styans and Himalayan red pandas are indeed separate species and should be treated as such.